We are at day 10. It's the morning of day 10. I don't even know what time it is. Uh, 6.30 in the morning, day 10. And at the last one, I said we'd be driving by the gun shop. Is the infestation gone now? Oh, weird. The infestation is gone. There had been an infestation here, I guess, because I have since, you know, killed, reloaded the game, all that sort of stuff. It's gone because there was another infestation over here. Weird. I don't understand how this game works sometimes. I mean, I guess what I probably need to do is I just need to have, like, a constant recording stream, but uh, the way things have been lately, I just, you know, I'm often recording at, at weird intervals, so it is what it is. Well, I think what uh, one of the things I wanted to do over here was I wanted to come to this place and figure out how to get into that back room. And I think we're going to try and do that today and see if that works out. Hi, how you doing? I mean, there's got to be something I was just missing. I was doing something wrong. I wasn't doing something I should have been doing. I don't know, whatever the case is. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? It's going to be one of those things where it's going to be obvious once I figure it out. And you're like, oh, duh. Well, don't I feel like a dummy, but that's okay. That's all right. How you doing over there, officer? Have we... Have we come over here? Did we go up here before? No, I don't remember this. There's a trash pile here, a trash pile here. I mean, I think technically... We can walk around the edge. Trash bag, okay. Well, crap, dude, let's check this. I mean, hey, look at that. There's some free stuff. I guess um, I guess we can take spark plugs. What do we have here? <gasps> no. <laughs> Military crate high tier. Um, oh. So there's some nine mil rounds. Uh, let's start with that. Some jungle boots, we already got that. We already have an AK from a previous run, right? That was a previous day. So we got ourselves a Desert Eagle, 50 cal, big boom. Um, look at the headshot damage on that, 204. That is just honking. Oh, here's a Benelli M4. How does that compare damage-wise? 2142, 75, 75, 3 and 30%. It's the exact same thing. I kind of like the look of the Benelli better than the Spaz. Um, but, uh, either way, I'm, I'm liking this crap. So let's put all this stuff in there. A heavy scope. Um, okay. I think, do we already have a heavy scope? I can't remember. Oh man, that's good stuff. I completely missed that the first go around. That's kind of hilarious. Here, let's go and drink that because we can use some water. And we'll eat that because we can use some food. And then I guess you can go back in there. Right, that's excellent. Uh, let's let's see if we can get inside and figure that out. It's I I don't understand this game sometimes with it spawning, but that's fine. So I can't just like yeah I know I've done this before and that didn't work. Um, can I? Oh, okay. Hold on. So I need to just like jump so that I land on just the edge of the counter and then I can crawl through. Oh man. And there's a hidden cache back here. So this is like a, uh, a special type of thing or something. So a 9mm drum round. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Military plate carrier. Look at that. Storage your ammo and everything you need. Protection 15%. So that's more than what we have with our civilian body armor. It includes a 3x2 storage. And it has room for ammo. Holy crap, dude. That's spectacular. Two ammo slots. I'm not... I don't know that I understand what the ammo slots are on this thing. Because we have the three by... I guess it's three by two by... So I don't know how. Uh, whatever. Uh, so we got some 308 rounds. Got a vector magazine. That's amazing. Uh, we got some rare pants. 2 by 2 and 2 by 2 I'm not going to worry about it, I guess. I mean, with knee pads, maybe that'd be better. A legendary weapon attachment, the Guardian Mag. 
10 round magazine of 762. Awesome. A nine millimeter drum mag. So that's uh, basically what we have on this guy right now. And then we're, at, we're gonna end up leaving this stuff behind, aren't we? Wow, all right, well, I think just because I want to go all purpley whirply, and we can throw those guys in there and call that fine, just so we have some nice purple stuff. So there's another Benelli M4 in here. Can we just take this for the giggles? <laughs> oh man. That's fantastic. So we've already been through this place before. We can, we could, ah, oh, crap, dude, get out of here. We could harvest this stuff, harvest, Sal salvage, uh, search, loot, loot, this search again, loot this search, loot, loot this stuff again. Good grief. I am just high as a kite right now because of all the stuff we found, but I'm going to pass on that because uh, I don't know. Arbitrary reasons. I'm going to say no. I don't want to loot this place again when we've already hit it before. We'll just need to find somewhere else to go. Some other other things to loot. I mean, we have a lot of choices here. We've got a lot of the map that we haven't gone to. And I'm pretty sure we have a key card for something. I don't remember what. Um, don't we have a key card? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of buying something. I don't know. I thought we had one. Do we have one? Yeah, the Fob Bravo key card. See, I knew we had a key card for something. Okay, excellent. My memory's not entirely terrible, just mostly. All right, back at the base, we got some zombies running in, and that's fine because we have learned that we can cheese them through fences, and, you know, in this instance, I don't mind. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Huh, kukri. I mean, I don't really think I care that much, but, um, you know, it's cool. Won't argue with it. Okay, I thought we might get someone's attention there. Well, every time you put the weapon away and I forget. Okay. Here, let's close the door. And then we can take care of these guys a little more safely like. Safety first, people. Safety first. Okay. Um. Here, if I open the door, does that get you guys to come in? Because I do want to get rid of you. And here, I guess we can check to see if you brought anything interesting. Some beans. And a light. Uh, I don't think I care about the light as much. We got a bunch of those. We don't need them. That's fine. It's a little messy in here, but uh, that's fine. You know, <laughs> That's the world we live in. So I think we had a couple of items in here. Uh, nope, in here. Let's go ahead and place this guy. This is kind of our... Um, I don't know, uh, trophy area sort of thing. And I guess we can place it right there. That's okay. And then I think we'll sell the other, the other guy. I wonder if you can reorder these. Like I would like the backpack above the plate carrier, but uh, whatever, it's fine. Uh, we'll worry about selling that guy later. And then let's go ahead and place this tent. Um, here, let's rotate you like this. And we'll place the tent, like, right there. So that gives us a good chunk of storage. That's excellent. And technically what we can do is we can put that guy in there. We'll just swap out a big, nice, full one, and we'll take the other full one. And I know it's probably not a, a good idea necessarily to leave a bunch of empties in there, but that's okay. We could also use some more alcohol, because we can use some more Molotovs, I think. We only have, like, one left, maybe. Yeah, so here, let's do that right quick. Before I forget, let's just make some more Molotovs. And then I don't even know where they're being stored at the moment. Other they're like, other than they're, you know, just like on uh, the inventory somewhere. Are they maybe in ammo? I don't even know. Whatever. Anyway, uh, let me pick up the Molotovs that I'm just leaving lying around everywhere. And uh, we'll resume momentarily. We need more storage, so I thought we'd do um, just to try it out and see how different it is. We'd take that guy, I guess. Um, I don't know if I can pick that up. I think I need to do vicinity and then drop that into a backpack so that we can make this work. So here, let's go ahead and place this guy. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to be a smaller storage than 
than uh, these other boxes. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six by eight, it looks like. And this one is a five by 10, maybe. Six by eight, five by 10. So we gain a slight amount of space in here. And in a way, I think I kind of like the look or the, the shape of this rather, because we have a lot of uh, large things that need to go in here. So this gets rid of basically all of the weapon stuff that we picked up, at least I think it does. I don't remember if there was anything else in storage in here. Yeah, we've got a suppressor. Oh, we can't put the suppressor in there or the scope. Okay, well, we can take them that way then. And then uh, I guess it doesn't count. Okay, so it is just like ammo type things, I guess. So magazines, etc. cetera. Uh, that's fine. Um, I was kind of using this tent, which I placed as just uh, sort of a, an overflow for stuff. And then I don't know if we have... We've got room in that guy for a 762 suppressor, which I'll be honest, I kind of want to use that on the the AK because the AK is over here now, along with whatever uh, random crap I can just fit in the places because, uh, you know. Um, gosh, I guess we need to get rid of the kukri. We're probably not going to use that, I don't, I don't think. And then I don't really know that we can do much else at this point. I mean, really what we need is more storage. Like it just, honestly, we just, we just need more storage. It really is as simple as that. We don't have enough and uh, it is what it is and it's okay. So tools cabinet, I'm sure, oh, we can put a bunch of stuff in there. Maybe, maybe not. Can we put, huh, alcohol can go in there. Well, if that's the case, then let me uh, let me move some th more things around because maybe these can go in there too. I mean, the sledge, ah, crap. The sledge certainly can, I think. I think this is as good as it gets. I've moved uh, some things around. So, you know, fences, walls are over here. I don't know, we'll figure out what to do with them later. Then a bunch of stuff is over here. And I think, more or less, we're ready to just hit the road. Kind of dropped uh, some of the stuff that we don't need to be carrying, although we don't probably need to carry the key card or even the chem light. But one of these days, I might actually uh, throw one. So, I don't know. Whatever. We'll pretend. We've got food, we've got water, we've got antiseptic, we've got a 556 magazine. We're just going to run with the same equipment that we've been using. And I got to figure out where we're going now, because honestly, I'm really not sure. Here, let me take a look at our map. I kind of want to head down this way. I think we've done stuff. Maybe we haven't done the stuff over here. I don't know. I don't remember at this point. But I'm kind of curious about what's going on in this area. And maybe Grain Valley is worth going to. So, um, yeah, let's just... Let's just head back to the south and we'll go see if we can get over to Green Valley, I guess, and whatever is around over there. I don't know. I got nothing. So coming out of a kind of our area, we're going to drive right through here and see how far or how bad this is. It looks like maybe it's going to clear up over here. Okay. Whew. So we came out on the other side of that. That's good. And then we'll just go ahead and pull up right over here where we will deal with our friendly zombies or unfriendly. I do want to go into that area, that patient zero building. It's not considered infested, which is interesting, even though, I don't know, it gives you like a, a red thing as you're going through. I do want to go through there, but the concern I have at the moment is that I don't think we have enough filters to deal with that. I'm a little worried about basically plowing through the filter or filters, whatever it is, in our hazmat mask. And then the next thing you know, we're, we're out of luck because uh, we don't have any more filters and we're just taking on radiation like crazy. Now, there are ways we can kind of deal with that. We have some radiation pills and I know that'll 
that'll clean up a, a fair amount, which is fine. I mean, you know, got to start somewhere and all that jazz. Here, we'll take that. We'll drop that. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm, the way I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, I don't know. What if we run out and um, then we just, we can't keep up with the radiation pills. I don't know. I'm not sure how long the filters last and we've been in and out of areas where it's been used. We just drove through it a little bit. So the filter in the mask is getting used up a bit, all that jazz. So I don't know, whatever. Just not going to worry about it. And uh, we'll come back another day. It's not going to go anywhere. I mean, I don't, I don't think it will anyway. Okay. So nothing really here to talk about. Just a, a quick little gas station stop. And that's fine. I was not really expecting anything more than that anyway. But I think I want to go this way and I guess I'm just trying to take a moment here to look at everything we've got. We got some stuff over here, some houses. We got something down at the, the corner there too. And then of course there will probably be one or two things along the way in the road. That, whoa, what are we getting into? Damaged nuke. Well, crap a doodle do. Um, I mean, it looked like a big old bomb, but I wasn't sure. Okay, um, let's drive through there because I don't want to stick around for whatever that is. I mean, obviously it's a damaged nuke. <laughs> oh my gosh. Got a church here. We got some other zombies. Oh my gosh. What am I getting myself into? This looks awful. Okay. I want to know if those are friendlies or unfriendlies. I can hear where it's coming from. I don't see it though. I guess we should probably get a weapon out just in case, right? Okay. Kind of dragged some of the zombies away, so that's fine. We'll let them go do their own thing. We don't need to get their attention right now. Oh, sure. Uh, drink that. Take those guys. You can have that back. Actually, you know what? Consume that and you can have that back, and then we don't need to worry about food for a moment. That works for me. See if there's anything in the church here. Ooh, big old jug of water. Another toolbox for storing crafting materials. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that wouldn't be bad to take another one of those. We'll take it for now. I don't know that we need it. And then, actually, I want to look at our thing there. Okay. I swapped out the water and stuff that we had. Some of the water and stuff. So we have a couple of big jugs of water. We don't really need that one. I'm okay with leaving it behind. It's fine. See if there's anything in here. Uh, fighting for beginners, so that's just some free experience. We'll take that. That's good. And then... Where was that shooting coming from? That's a zombie. I mean, I kind of... Oh, I bet that... That might be a drivable big rig. Oh, that's interesting. We should go check that out just to see. Okay, they're going to be friendlies, I'm pretty sure. They don't look particularly... Oh, maybe not. They may not be friendlies. I don't know if they're friendly. Bandit Rusher. Well, that answers my question. Okay, so... Oh, come on in, buddy. Okay, I'm okay with that. Your friend doesn't even know what happened. Not sure how you saw it, your friend didn't, but that's okay. This is where a hunting rifle or something would be fantastic. Okay, that definitely got all their attention. Okay, I can take one bullet, that's fine. Though I don't want to take uh, that. Here, let's go ahead and play it safe, we'll heal up. <laughs> oh, sucks to be you. I was going to say, I think that's a guy over there, too. This is where, again, I need a scope. Because I just... Oh, gosh. Well, that was a headshot. And so was that. 
Okay, man. That was a good time. Um, you. Uh, sure, we'll take that. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. Oh, that was fantastic. So they were playing with green zombies over here. Look at this, man. We'll take the 45. Sure, drink the water. We don't need it back. A varmint rifle and a damaged M4. I mean, I don't know what to do with that. Do we take the damaged M4? I kind of feel like we shouldn't. We have enough high-quality weapons. We don't need a damaged one. I mean, not that we have a ton, mind you. I'm just saying. We're using a couple of pretty good ones right now, as far as I'm concerned. More 45 and some money. Oh, look at that. Uh, I didn't mean to grab the cloth, but I will take the lockpicks. I will blow through them at some point, because I don't know how to use them very well. Oh, there's a little ammo container right here. Excellent. Check this guy out. Um, 12 gauge and 762. Perfect. By the way, the next zombie we kill will be good for a level. So that might be something to think about. What time is it? 7 o'clock. Okay. I say, it sure seems like it's getting dark. Let's go run back this way. Um, I'm going to put the shotgun away. There we go. There's a little bit of light. The moon is now peeking through. Okay, we cannot get into this big rig. That's kind of a shame. I was hoping we could check that out, but that's all right. I wanted to see how much storage it has compared to our SUV. I know we could be taking a different vehicle for more storage, but I really do like the maneuverability of the SUV compared to uh, some of the other stuff we've been driving around. It, it really does make a difference for me. I mean, I don't know, maybe it doesn't for you, and that's okay if it doesn't. But for me, it does make a difference. I kind of wonder if we're in a more difficult area just because we're seeing green zombies again. They are definitely an increased threat compared to the, the standard zombies. For sure they are. We know that. They're still maybe not as beefy, mean, tanky, aggressive, damaging, etc. as the, the red guys. But, you know... We still got to be careful here. All right. I'm just kind of grabbing some some zombies here so that we can start cleaning up the area and we can get into wherever this is. Is this like Whitehall or something? Is that what it was called? I don't remember. Like, I, I literally, I don't remember. Ah, uh, sure. Take those guys. We should probably take the cloth, but we've got so much of it. I mean, we can make tents out of it. Tent. Tent crazy so that we have some storage. Uh, but that's fine. I was a little worried about you. You were kind of approaching at the wrong time. So we've got another subway station here. I think if we can get night vision working, I might be okay with going in one of those just to check them out. I'm curious if nothing else, but I don't feel comfortable going in there without night vision, I think. And to do that, we need a helmet we can attach the night vision goggles to. I think we might have, like, a damaged riot helmet in storage or something. I think I saw that. Yeah, that, that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something maybe a little more proper, not damaged. And I don't know, that, that could just be me being picky. And I accept that if so. I accept it if so. How you doing, madam? Oh, crap. Okay. Grab the weapon that you always forget to grab. Okay, that was worth some interesting, a fair amount of uh, radiation, unfortunately. It's all right, though, here. We'll go and use a couple of those, so we're still fine on our bandages for a little while. As long as I'm not an idiot. I mean, there's no guarantee of that, though, so, you know, it is what it is. Now we don't need another lunchbox. I mean, we we could use one, but at the base we could just make a, a fridge or something. A 5x8. It's damaged, otherwise it would definitely hold a lot more. Probably be more like a 6x9 or 6x8, maybe, because the one that we have that's a 6x9 is a... A purple one.
I mean, I'm not entirely sure what sort of stuff I'm looking for right now, other than, I guess, ammunition, weaponry, armor, etc. Like, kind of the usual standby stuff that everyone wants at, you know, the onset of a zombie apocalypse. I still feel like I'm kind of trying to collect some of those things. That's a lot of antiseptic, by the way. We're almost at two full stacks. Here, let's move the truck a little bit, and this should get someone's attention. And I'll remember to grab the axe this time. Okay. We have now rolled into day 11. Not day 7, but that's fine. That's just me being persnickety. I think we'll have enough time to check this bag, although I'm going to have to be jumping out of it before too long there. Yeah. Hello, tourist. Take a picture of this. All right, what did we have in here? We had another another toolbox. We just got that guy. Or we just got the other one, so we don't need to take a third now. That'd be a little excessive, I think. Hold on, I hear... I hear footsteps. I want to be ready for you. What you doing, kitty? I got one cat sitting on my lap, one cat standing up and sniffing the top of the monitor. So, you know, it's cool. Uh, I don't think we need another ammo container right now. Like, that thing is not even close to being full. By the time it matters, uh, you know, whatever. We'll worry about it then. This doesn't have a filter in it, does it? Can we see... 86%. Okay. I feel kind of dumb now because I was thinking... I just... I didn't think about inspecting the mask to see the quality of the filter. Okay. Well, that's pretty good then. I mean, I don't know how long 86% will last, but that seems pretty significant to me. That seems like that'll last a minute. And if that's the case, then we probably could have afforded to go run around in some places where... It's not great. I would still feel better if we had a backup filter, though. Just something we can very quickly pop into place. That looks like a battery uh, charging station thing. Interesting. Still need to make one of those just to try it out and see how that works. Laptop and some cloth. Gonna have to go check out FOB Bravo, too. That's uh, FOB Bravo. We're gonna have to check that out at some point. I'd rather do that in the day if I'm just being totally real with you here. Like, I don't want to do that at night. I'm... I'm struggling enough as is with seeing right now that I don't want to deal with a place that um, I assume is gonna be pretty vicious. No, no, no. Maybe it won't be. We still haven't seen, uh, I forget what those guys are called, but the ones that are not the military, but dressed like the military. I'm worried about them a little bit. I mean, not worried per se. Not like, oh, you know, every moment of the day, I'm like, oh, what are we going to do? I just mean generally, like, I think that could be, um, they could end up being tough. I mean, those bandits are not, they're not fun when they have firearms. And I can only assume the other guys are going to have even even beefier stuff. They're going to have better weaponry, better equipment. Probably better armor, so it's going to be harder to do significant amounts of damage to them. I mean, it might be one of those things where the old uh, Elder Scrolls stealth archer is the way to go. Although I suppose in this game that means... A suppressed sniper rifle, at least until the crossbow is added to the game. Looking forward to that, by the way. We got a sneeze. That was a good sneeze. Whew. All right. Empty. That is not something we can loot. The trash bags will be, though. Pretty sure about that. I, I've kind of gotten a feel at this point for... The stuff we can and cannot search through. We'll take the tent. It's just, you know, some free storage back at the base. I mean, <laughs> I suppose if we really hmm, were to pay attention. Oh, interesting. A red barrel. I don't know that I've seen them in the game. Uh, if we were to 
try, we could probably get rid of some stuff. At the very least, we could, you know, place some walls and things. I did place a second ammo crate that I didn't tell you about. It was one that we'd been carrying around, so... You knew we had the crate, I just didn't tell you I placed it because I was just trying to get it out of the way. That's all. I mean, I figure you can pick things up with... Oh, crap. I was way early on that swing. Without too much trouble, so if we want to turn it into something else, then... It's pretty easy to just pick it up and call it good. I thought I heard gunshots. I think it was this guy just making noise running. There's a pet store over there. That's interesting. Bye by five. How you doing, ma'am? I wonder if this is like a post office or something. I just see a couple of flags over the top. I mean, I guess it doesn't really look like a post office. It's more like a store, but... I don't know. It just seems very uh, patriotic, I guess. That's all. Okay, I don't need any of that stuff. A little concerned about driving too near that, but I guess it'll be fine. Let's just keep going through here. Figure out what time do we got. Just about 6 a.m. So we'll, we'll hit maybe one or two more buildings and call this one good, because we have completed our 24 hours. Ooh, we got a store. Just plain store. I mean, this guy doesn't really make any sense to annoy, because chances are I'm just going to end up having to do this again. Although I might be able to... I'll have to see. I might have enough time to keep going. And then all the work we've done today will not be lost with having to re-kill everyone all over again. All right, nothing on you. Let's check the vending machine, see what we got. Cereal. Yeah, we don't really need it just yet. It's fine. I mean, I was ignoring the beans and other stuff we found, too. So take all that stuff because Molotovs are my friend. We learned that a few episodes ago, and I think this is good. We'll leave it right here, and we'll pick up on the next one as we continue going through Grain Valley. I think Whitehall was the other. Whitewood? Whitewood. <laughs> Ugh, good grief. We'll go through Grain Valley on the next one. Catch that one, till then. Thanks for watching. See you later.